There's one last thing I want to mention regarding if else in Rust. Since if is an expression, we can also use it to assign a value directly to a variable. For example, we might have something such as this that states that n is equal to 11 or that n contains the value of 11. And then we might want to create a variable that tells us whether it is odd or even. So here we can type in odd even, and that's going to equal if n modulus operator two is equal to zero. So if the remainder of n divided by two is equal to zero, then it's going to be an even number. Else it's going to be an odd number. And then we can debug this and just print odd even directly. Now, if we were to run this, you'll notice that we're going to get back odd because 11 is an odd number. 11 divided by two has a remainder of one, which leads us to the else block and that returns odd. While if we were to change this to 10, we would get even as a return. But as you can see, we were able to use if else on a single line and assign what it evaluated to, to our variable. And the formula is quite simple. You just need to type in if whatever your condition is passes, it's going to return this, else it will return this. Now it's important to note that both of the values that you are returning must be of the same type. Otherwise Rust will not compile that garbage. For example, we might have a Boolean called is connected. That's going to be set to false. And the result of the expression is going to check if is connected, we will return connected as a string, else we will return negative one. Then we can debug the result. And what we're going to learn is that Rust in fact will not compile that garbage because both of these must be of the same type. Even the exception here states that it expected a string slice but found an integer. But yeah, it's quite cool that we can do this on a single line and use it as an expression because it feels quite clean, especially if it's simple logic.